Hi, this is Tali and welcome to Builder.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. I'm standing here with Frank from Direct Grid Technologies and he's going to talk to us about uh, their microinverter technology that's available for OEM. So Frank, how are you? Good, thank you for coming. Thanks so much. So uh, let's walk over here and talk about this. Okay, so here's our microinverter from, from Direct Grid. And we use planar technology, which is ferrites. The circuit board is actually a winding of the transformer. We're running at high frequency. We're using silicon carbide. It has a microcontroller on board. But at the end of the day, what's most significant about the microinverter is ease of use installation. If you take a look at it, you can see there's an access node. It will actually communicate over the power lines, and uh, you can have up to 125 of these uh, communicating through an access node. You can pull it up with your iPhone, with your BlackBerry, watching the energy being harvested and virtual electric meters so you know what you're returning to the grid. Okay, so this is a pretty cool technology. So can you talk a bit about what makes microinverters distinct from central inverters? Okay, the microinverter, if you only have a portion of your roof that's lit by the sun, you can't put the prerequisite 20 panels on a roof. This allows you to, if you're driving a Prius and you're environmentally conscious and you want to be green, you can put one panel on your roof for starters and it's scalable. We talk about scalable freedom. It allows somebody to start with one, add two, three, four, five, and uh, they can constantly upgrade as applicable. So it gives you freedom. Okay, the efficiency of our microinverter is rated at 92%, but uh, we expect to release revised numbers at 94%, uh, which is higher than most central inverters. The other big benefit of a microinverter is one microinverter per panel is that if you have a, a, a bird landing on one of your panels, you don't lose the entire current from the string. So if you have 20 panels and you have uh, one panel has debris on it or leaves, you lose 1 20th of your power and it calls home and tells you, clean me, check me, whatever. So what are the unique features that stand out with your specific microinverters? Well, our, our microinverters are very cool running. There was a lot of attention to detail in the design phase in regard to thermal management. We use silicon carbide, which is a newer technology, and it affords us the opportunity to have very high efficiencies. So cool running is longevity, is longer life. Everyone's concerned about uh, microinverters are new. They haven't been deployed in volume for the, the length of time that central inverters have. So we have to develop our own, uh, uh, our own bloodline, our own experience set, and demonstrate this. We, we took a lot of effort and uh, focused heavily on that. Okay, so can you talk a little bit more about the monitoring software? Okay, in terms of the monitoring software, the first year we offer as a free service and then it's, uh, it's available under su subscription. But it will actually talk to the node and you have access to it with your Blackberry, your iPhone, or through a standard computer. You can actually track energies harvested, your carbon footprint, and dollars returned to the grid and saved. Okay, so what are your procedures for quality control? Well, standard manufacturing tolerances, uh, we, we come out of the utility and grid world for uh, utility applications, so we live in a, a space where they look at 50-year reliability, uh, theoretically. So everything that we do, the quality of manufacturing is uh, ISO 9000, uh, surface mount, it's all standard. Uh, there's no exotic technologies in terms of the manufacturing of the assembly. And what's your warranty? Warranty is 20 years, which is 50 year, 15 years, and then it's prorated on the balance. So when is, uh, is this product available on the market right now? The part, we are finishing up our qualification for UL, uh, TUV, CE, CEC, and FCC. We expect that to be concluded within a month, month and a half time. Production, we'll have some production this year with uh, high volumes beginning February of next year. Right. So, Frank, thank you for talking thank to us. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is Tali from Builder.com reporting to you from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you for watching.